if you are a doctor in the UA, then of course you know what is an EMR. But for example, if you're coming from outside, like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, then probably you don't have an idea or even if you do have an idea you don't know how to use it so i will be teaching how to use an electronic medical record software which is used for uh, storing the patient records we don't have handwritten notes here everything is stored on the computer Hello everyone, this is Dr. Safia and today I will be making a video about the EMR software, also known as the Electronic Medical Record. Alright, so this is the Simplex CMS software that yeah, we are using in this clinic, but we have many different softwares, but the general hint, uh, the general way of using it is quite similar so if you know one of them then uh, you would be able to uh, start using the other ones easily you will learn more easily so in the government hospitals here the systems that we use uh, is called salama system so if you got the chance to do an attachment or observership then you would already know how to use it um, and once you know that then other ones become easy so I only have experience with this one and the Salama system so for now I'll just show you about the Simplex CMS software so this is the login page you enter your details and this is the page that comes in so the two more uh, important things as a physician is this where you have to enter the patient records and the rest is um, not applicable for physicians it's nursing it's different patient registration is for the receptionist appointments all of this is not relevant to us for us it's the electronic prescription and the emr so first let's go on to the electronic medical record so this is how um, a typical page for the day looks like so when so uh, when the patients are registered then all of their details would be coming here example whether they're a new patient the date they're coming their appointment date um, their file numbers and their names I will blur these out for confidentiality reasons and then the other fact is whether they are insurance uh, patients or cash patients all their details basically so once you go for a patient um, you will for example open their file this is like you're manually opening their file now when you write down the things so each doctor's name would be appearing uh, according to the days they saw the patient the dates I mean and you have to write the chief complaint uh, the vital signs uh, this is actually the summary okay this is a case summary page so when you start um, entering the records that is first you look at the previous visits then for the current visit you will go, you will add in, uh, sometimes the nurse do, uh, does this, sometimes I do it myself. So you'll add in the vital signs, all the details are here. Past medical history, past surgical history, like habits, uh, drug allergies, and so on. And then you have this area of adding uh, the whole history, the, the chief complaint, which appears on the case summary and other people, other doctors can see it. and. Apart from that, you have the pain scale, all of the details that you just have to add in here. But the main thing is the chief complaint. Once you add that, then you have the physical examination area where you examine the patient and you write down over here. Then we have, this is a very important part. So because uh, majority of the um, patients here have medical insurance. so they would um, they will have to enter a claim we will have to enter a claim form um, and in that we use ICD-10 for the diagnosis these are the codes which are automatically there so thankfully we just need to write for example if the patient is having headache you add that one in and the ICD codes appear here automatically 
and whatever diagnosis you have to the symptom or the diagnosis the more you add in the better it is for the claim form uh, approvals and so on so once you add in I'm just adding in random diagnosis which I have bookmarked okay and then this is the area this is by default okay so this is the, the services means the lab investigations that you want to do so you can add in whatever test you want from here and then this is the area for the prescription i would definitely make a video about prescriptions separately um, especially for the fresh gps who don't know how to um, prescribe medicines in the proper way um, anyhow this is where we add in the prescription you can write the generic name or the brand name anything you write it will be like automatically entering here so let's say panadol so dose for example two times per day and for how many days seven for example then you click here and this whole thing automatically comes here and then you add the drug so this is your prescription for example and then you have to save okay I will not save because this is not uh, this is just a testing thing uh, but you will save and once you do it will appear like the whole visit will appear here and after doing that we have to go for the electronic prescription area so the the patient that you prescribed for will appear here but instead of saying erx sent it will say pending so you will click on that you will see the prescription you will put on the production um, you will choose that and then you will say send erx erx stands for electronic prescription so basically over here the pharmacies they have this whole system where you can um, like everything is done in an electronic manner uh, once you prescribe from there the pharmacies will get the prescription already and this is uh, especially for the insurance patients otherwise you can give a manual prescription paper just as we do in um, our home countries so this was just a very basic uh, tutorial of how to get by with the emr software there are so many more functions so many more things but basically if you know this much then you can discover the rest by yourself it's not difficult the emr softwares <laughs> are easy um, but you just have to be used to uh, writing on the computer instead of uh, you know the handwritten notes that the doctors usually write we actually even have the uh, files uh, we write it on the files as well but anyhow it's uh, double double things here and one important thing about uh, working in Dubai as a physician is that you need to know how to fill the claim forms for the medical insurance that is one very important aspect here so it was a very short and basic tutorial but I hope that you learned something out of it and that you found it useful um, so that's it for the day take care